All right, last part until the boss. So, without further ado, we will do a little mini boss of sorts. Yeah, mini in the sense that, yeah, it's not all these little little buggers. He's was he a giga mutant this time? Unlike the last one where you had to use uh, magic on him, you just kind of use the opposite, which takes me a second to realize that. Uh, it kind of. I only did half this in my half this place in my test runs because. It does take a little while to go through this. This is part four, so that's roughly an hour or so to get through this whole place, which is a lot longer than the last oh, any of the other previous side quests. As the rest were like one, maybe two parts. I think one was three. That also had some random crap in it. But yeah, this one does take a while, so I, I didn't really, I didn't do my tests properly, and actually I just screwed that up completely. You're actually supposed to use magic on him, and you can use tailspin because it doesn't count as magic or physical. It just does damage, and I don't think you can do anything to reduce enemies can do anything to reduce the damage. But yeah, it, it's tailspin's a very useful ability, but it's also a very annoying ability to use just because the hitbox for it is really annoying. You have to be like within like some reasonable range. And it is kind of annoying with this boss fight because you have to use magic, as I just said, but also at the same time he constantly drains your mana, which is not good because you need mana to cast magic and deal elemental damage. I think if you hit him with physical attacks, he does like piss damage, <laughs> nothing reasonable, and it's quite obnoxious that he does this. He uh, slowly drains your MP while you're slowly draining your own MP to kill him. But it doesn't take too many casts to kill him, and he doesn't hit that hard for any of his attacks that he casts, if there's even more than just the one. Like, where he throws like a amoeba-like shuriken thing at you, and of course his uh, MP drain. And with that, you just simply kill him, and worry my manners by saying welcome back to part 60... Fuck, I did it again. Oh well, 65 I'm gonna guess. <laughs> I have such horrible memory. But then again, I took like two hour break between this, the last video and this. I am lazy. And what great dungeon would it be without an elevator scene? Except for, for some reason, with this elevator you don't have to actually fight anyone. But I do believe sometimes enemies will pop up. I think it's just pure random or I'm just a tool. It's very likely that I'm just a tool. And you all are yelling at me right now, saying, oh, there are no enemies on that elevator. But, it's okay, I, I don't know everything. And I never have claimed <laughs> to know anything about anything. But, I do know how to get through this game. Maybe not the most uh, reasonable way, not the quickest way, but I can, by God, get through this game. Because I have beaten it enough times to be able to say that. Should really only take one try, but yeah, whatever. I've beaten this game, and we will be finishing it in the next week or two. I keep saying that. I've said that with all my LPs, actually, that I'll be finishing it in a week or two, and that, that means usually there's going to be another month of me stalling and taking forever to do these things, because I am a lazy bastard. Because I have been playing lots of other games. I finally got a new fight stick, so I, <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter lately. I mean... Uh, Walmart has this sale that, like, I don't see how they couldn't see people abusing this, but, uh, so uh, recently in the past, somebody stole one of my fight sticks, my only fight stick, and yeah, two tubsters just beat the shit out of them. You know the deal. Cube toss and, uh, something will take care of I think it's just one cube toss will actually take care of them, but yeah, somebody stole my fight stick a while ago, and so I just recently bought a new one because... Walmart's selling Vanilla Street Fighter, which is just the regular Street Fighter 4, not Super, if you didn't know that. Um, and if you buy it, which is $30, you get a fight stick for free. And those fight sticks are like, it really depends on where you can find it and what deal you can get. I bought mine last month for $50. So yeah, buy the game for $30, get a free thing that's like worth twice as much as the game for free. And once I get that game, actually, the fight stick came in already, but the the uh, game hasn't actually come in yet. I'm waiting on that, and I'm just going to return it and get all my money back to get my free fight stick. Because, I mean, it did get stolen after all, so I deserve a free fight stick. A lot more stuff got stolen, too. 
in that incident, which is why. <laughs> and you're probably witnessing one of those reasons. Actually, you can't notice that on Chrono Trigger, is that I can't do widescreen videos anymore. My monitor was also stolen. But you can't really tell that with Chrono Trigger, because it's it windowed no matter what the uh, what monitor I'm using it on, just because the game was made to be on uh, 4x3 standard window dimensions. I guess it's actually a ratio, not a dimension. So I hope I'm not playing on 4x3 pixels. That'd be terrible. It'd be like worse than Atari. A lot worse than Atari, actually. And I'm stalling because I'm rambling because nothing's really going on because we're fighting panels, which, yeah, still gets speed taps. Awesome. I already said this before, so I guess I could reiterate it and go back to my rambling because that's what I do best. And yes, been playing a lot of Street Fighter. What else have I been playing? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, San Andreas, as always. That game is so bad. It's so terrible, but I'm yet, I still continue to play that game. And that's really about it. I mean, uh, Team Fortress when I can. But I'm trying to get this done with and deciding what exactly to do next. I keep saying I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that from an XLP. But one thing you have to count on is the fact that, uh,. I'm very indecisive. I'm extremely indecisive. I uh, can never make up my mind with anything, so yeah, over time, I'm gonna keep saying to do this, and then probably the next week I'm doing that. It's just how things all work out. Because, uh, yeah, I uh, can never make up my mind on what I want to do, and I also have the worst of luck. As I cannot believe that charm miss. I hate how charm has not a 100% chance, because it has two chances, to, it has to go through two procs essentially, it has to get this animation, which is some chance, and then when you get the present, there's also another chance that you don't get anything, so you have to get a chance to hit, and you have to get a chance to actually get something from that hit. It's really annoying, it's essentially critical strike, you gotta hit and then crit, but the chances are much more in your favor than the crit, unless you're using you know, Chronos awesome sauce blade, because that thing has a 70% crit rate, and he never misses really, unless it's someone with high evasion. But those aren't very, those are far from few. I don't think that actually makes any sense. But yes, kill those panels and take forever because you are greedy and you want all those speed tabs. And there is a save point. A oh so delicious save point, which I don't think I actually use because I was very aware of what's to come next. I actually don't remember if I knew ahead of time what I was about to do. I guess I go ahead and use a shelter. Why not? Except I am running quite low on them, as I think I am now down to uh, what is it? I think I said I think I had three left, which I, it will it will make you through the rest of this. <laughs> and I don't remember which kind of mutant this is. Is this a Giga or a Mega or a Terra? Sorry, Terra, use magic. Except for the way it works is the uh, the top half takes damage and the other the bottom half absorbs. It's weird, but you just want to kill the top half because he also like kills the bottom half and gives him health from it. But just just don't worry about the bottom half. Just try and kill the top half, regardless of if it's like with an AOE or anything like cube toss or luminaire. But you have to make sure it's an elemental attack. And you just and once you kill the top half, the, the bottom half just like within like a few seconds will just disappear. And also the heal's not too bad. As you saw, it's like not even triple digits. Which I don't know why. I, I well, you gotta bear in mind this is also like this is more or less how I figure out these boss fights. So I just, I just, I just try stuff. I just see what happens, and then I realize very quickly, do not do that, because apparently he brings your health down to HP. Ugh, brings your health down to one HP if you attack him. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, they just they just beat the crap out of the top half of him with magic, or use AOEs if you really have to. Uh, as long as it's not a physical attack, it won't like uh, do a life shaver or whatever it's called, and then bring your HP down to one. And he doesn't have too much health. 
kill off the top half. Bottom half dies, goes emo, kills itself, like it should. And then we can reap those two chests that are just teasing us right now. By sitting there. Just sitting there. Like, wanting us to use them. Want us to open them. I believe one of them... No, one of them's not a haste dome. I don't even remember what was in the chest. So, like always, I come very ill-prepared for these, uh... These, uh, Let's Plays. Because I'm a lazy person. And, like I said right now, I, I this is my first attempt on him, I was just testing out different attacks to see what works best. Uh, it can't be like any of these like hybrid physical magic attacks, it's gotta be like strictly magic as you saw, like Final Kick. Usually hits for like, in like, upper 3000s, and that was only 1400, so it was, it was well, more than half. So it just it just wasn't very effective as like that's a duel it hits for eight or nine hundred and this will be a, a single that's gonna hit for like I believe a thousand which adds up to eighteen hundred which is better than the triple tech that does fourteen hundred a lot more because I think it's fifteen hundred which is more than the whole triple tech by itself and I think the problem is that cube toss is a uh, considered uh, elemental physical which makes sense because it's uh, which attack I think it's I think it's uh, Alia's Rock Throw and Marla's Ice 2 combined. So, oh, sorry, I just punched my mic. I don't know how I always do that. But in very short time, we will uh, easily destroy this Terra Mutant. And the bottom half will kill itself, and we're good to go. We can reap our rewards. Because rewards are awesome. Especially from killing things. A white Rock, mm, triple text. Except for... I won't make much use of that rock because I don't, I don't use rocks very much. And I guess you could make a crack joke about that, but I'm not going to because I'm not that shallow. Mm, a long hallway or a long catwalk over a very drop, long drop. And what do we have here? I actually don't remember. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, the Lalo spawn. This guy's not too bad. It's very much like the one that we fought before when we tried to revive Chrono. Do not attack the body, attack the head. Charm the head, too, because you get a Haste Helm. Haste Helms, even if you don't use it, end up using it all, it's very nice to have. But make sure it's the head, not the body. Body Attacking the body, if you recall, in the Chrono's revival quest thing. Deals nasty blows to your entire party and might even kill it if you're not prepared or if you're really weak. If you're a bunch of Nancys. But yeah, we're just gonna simply uh, heal up a little because I, 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 didn't, I didn't really come fully prepared for this. Actually, I did. I used a shelter. I lied. But uh, Marla took a nice little hit and just wanted to get everyone up to full HP. And now we're just gonna spam Final Kick to finish him off. Because we did get our Haste Helm, which is very nice. Because at this point, his attacks won't do any real damage. He just always starts off with that really annoying attack, which can potentially hit for a lot. It just kind of depends on your party and your equipment. But I want to say these needles, when they come down, give you a status effect. But it's hard to say when you're immune, all your characters are immune to status effects. Because they didn't really hit for that much, especially for like one of these mini boss fights, which this place is littered with. And, I mean... It's once again while I will continue to reiterate the idea of using your prison helms, because they do come in handy in this little area. It seems like everyone wants to try to show off their own status effects that they can use on you. But we'll just nullify that and defeat the stupid lava spawn. And say, in the next room, I actually cut this out, but in the next room, uh, you walk up, I think you fight an enemy, and you encounter Zeal, which we will be doing in the next part in the next two seconds, so later everybody.